Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great travel trailer value from Parkway RV Center. Just got in what I personally would consider the, the best floor plan for a couple in a small camper. Uh, this is a 2015 Jayco J-Flight. It's the 195 FD. Or, excuse me, the 19 FD. This is a 23-foot long travel trailer. Weighs 4,177 pounds. It's a dual axle, which I like. I mean, I... I know everybody likes, a lot of people like single axles, folks, but let me tell you something. Go with a double. You'll thank me later. You know, this is not the SLX. This is the regular J-Flight, so it's an 8-foot wide model instead of 7-foot. 23-foot long, that's including the tongue. I know most dealers would advertise it a 19-foot, and that's technically the size of the living area. But it's in clean shape, very good condition. Got a power awning, power tongue jack. I've got it hooked into 30 amp service, of course. Um, I mean, the back corners aren't beat up. Tires look great. Doesn't show a lot of use, folks. Got an outside shower, six gallon DSI water heater. You know, this is a pre Thor Jayco before Thor bought them out, so this is mostly Amish and Mennonite built. And of course, Jayco, one of the uh, most well known. Manufacturers and RV industry, as a matter of fact, Jayco J Flight is the best selling small travel trailer in America for years now. Great little campers, folks. Got the outside speakers, so it's got the power tongue jack, got the full length power awning, 19 RD. This is, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, the smallest regular J Flight that they offered in 2015. Uh, 4177 is a weight. Let's look inside. For me, this is the perfect layout. A, you've got a stationary queen bed in your own bedroom. If you need it, you've got a fold down bunk up here. One handed operation, smooth. If you don't need this bunk, you can use it, you can take the mattress out, use it for storage. But you've got a queen bed up front. And in the back, you've got a nice, comfortable living area. And then, keep in mind, this is only a 23-foot camper. You've got a good ceiling height in here. It's not the SLX, so it's got the higher ceiling height. You've got a table booth, so you've got a comfortable place to eat. And then you've got a really nice sleeper sofa. So you can sleep seven people in here if you need to. Perfect for, but it's more like I said, it's a couple's floor plan or a small family. Got a, a place for a TV. Got a uh, stereo system, and it's got all the auxiliary hookups and all that that you need to hook your mobile device to it. Got shades, got an oven, a microwave, a stove top. Got the actually decent sized fridge. It's an eight cubic foot nor cold fridge and freezer, and it's already getting cold. I like it because a lot of these small campers just put that little fridge in there, a little six cubic foot. And uh, this right here can hold a lot more food. I mean, you open up cabinets. These are all Amish and Mennonite built cabinets, hardwood. Like I said, I like the Jayco's, folks, the way they're built. Um, got the Coleman mock air conditioner. I like that. But it's got a central thermostat, so that's pretty cool. So you can uh, you don't have to reach up there if you've got somebody short. They don't have to get on a step stool to change the air conditioner You can uh, setting. You can do it all from right here. And it's got a DSI furnace. Kitchen area clean. Doesn't look like they cooked on it. Double basin sink. Side enclosed bathroom. Medicine cabinet. Uh, nice stand-up shower skylight. Stickers are still in here. Looks good. Got a little pink stuff in the bottom. It's got the antifreeze in it. Of course, it's pink. Um, so it's been winterized. You know, we've already done a preliminary check on it. So we know all the major stuff works. The, we know the air, the, the fridge works, uh, the lights, microwave, all that stuff works. Uh, so we've checked the major stuff. Um, but like I said, just a good little... Small camper, affordable, it's half price what it cost new just a few years ago. So let me put it to you this way, folks. If you bought this camper brand new in 2015, four years ago, and um, 
you know, you paid money down, you financed it, you paid money down your 10% or whatever, and of course they financed all the fees and taxes and all that stuff in there with it, and all those bogus services they talked you into signing up for. Um, there's no way, folks, if you'd bought this camper new in 15, that you could afford to sell it for what we're selling this one for. Your payoff would be thousands and thousands of dollars higher than what you could buy this one for. And this includes a warranty, includes a full inspection by our certified RV techs to be completed after purchase and much more. So, does it pay to buy them new, folks? I'm telling you, um, you know, I know we sell the new prowlers, but we, we, we don't make hardly any money on those. I mean, but, you know, as far as these other dealers, it's just crazy, folks. I was, I was talking to another customer the other day. They, another victim of the big corporate dealers. They seen a little Coleman camper. They saw it cheap. I love the price. Got in there. Got suckered into signing so much paperwork so fast they couldn't read it. And uh, wind up paying about $6,000 more than the advertising price. In fees and taxes and all that stuff. And uh, they're stuck in it. Oh, I mean, after three years, they owe more than... They still owe more than that camper cost brand new. So... Um, like I said, folks, if you do buy these new, read the fine print, slow them down, don't pay any fees. Only thing you're required to pay is sales price, sales tax. That's it. Anything else, they're making money off of you. It's all 100% profit. Anyway, folks, but this is a great opportunity. You're buying it for half price. It's got years of life left to it. Uh, sleeps up to seven. I love this area back here, too. This is a neat layout for a small camper. Got a big window in the back. Um, of course, I hope you're looking at something prettier than, than a road and a bunch of other campers. But, you know, it's a nice little camper. It's affordable. It, it's lightweight. This is something you can tow with a, you know, like a, you know, half-ton truck, no problem. Uh, Chevy Tahoe, Expedition, Sequoia, um, even a lot of the mid-size SUVs, like the Explorer and um, Forerunner and things like that, chances are, if you got it, if you got the right engine and, and towing combination, then you can tow this camper. Um, of course, folks made it really easy. Go to my interactive towing guide on my website, ParkwayRVCenter.com. Type in your vehicle information; it'll tell you what your vehicle's rated to tow. Of course, again, folks, a little disclaimer: always before you finalize anything. That information on our tow guide is deemed reliable, but not guaranteed. So please check with your vehicle dealer to find out what your exact towing capacity will be. But if you go to my interactive tow guide, it'll give you an idea. And it'll show you every camper that I have in stock that you can tow with your vehicle. Pretty neat feature I've added to the website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Um, or I made it real easy if you're on YouTube watching this video. Uh, go to the video description below in the first paragraph there'll be a link to my used travel trailer page and uh, You can click on the interactive towing guide and uh, Go from there also on my website folks. I'll have a lot more information than on YouTube So if you're serious about this camper click on over to my website after you watch the video um, You're going to see a factory brochure that you can uh, in a PDF format You read that you'll know more about this camper the way it's built than I do or anybody else um, selling one you can uh, of course apply for financing from there you can get your start the trading appraisal process I have uh, pictures specs details exact weights exact measurements tank sizes all the information that you could ever want to decide if this is the right camper for you is on our website parkwayrvcenter.com or click on the link below let me tell you something folks I when I design my website I'm different than other dealers I see some dealers' advertisements. It's just crazy. They throw a couple of sentences in there, two paragraphs of disclaimers. No information. They want you to call so they can work you on the phone to try to get you in there for the information. Folks, I don't operate like that. I don't. I never believe there's, uh, on the Internet, for Internet shoppers, no such thing as too much information. Yes, yeah, some of the information may be irrelevant to one buyer, but it won't be to the next. So, um but I believe in putting all the information I can. And, um, uh, yes, yeah, maybe makes us a little different than other RV dealers. I don't know. Like the LED lights in here so it doesn't draw a lot of battery power if you're boondock camping uh, and uh, doesn't get hot either. Uh, 
no carpet, linoleum looks great, which, hey, that's less cleanup. And uh, neat little camper, something total late for the weekend, take it cross country. I mean, it, it's, for two people, this is more than enough room. And even for three or four, you can use it. You can sleep seven. Like I said, it'd be tight, but you could sleep seven on paper. This unit is going to include a 90-day nationwide limited warranty. It's going to have the inspection after purchase. Now, we've done a preliminary check, and everything's fine. But, you know, we've already winterized it, so we'll actually dewinterize it, check, check the water system, and um, uh, check the propane system, check the awning, jacks, check all the interior components, check all your appliances, um, plumbing system, toilet system, holding tanks, and much, much more. Folks, I strongly encourage everybody that wants to buy a camper or an RV from us, contact my sales team. They're non-commissioned, so there's no uh, no worries, no no high-pressure sales tactics, none of that nonsense, folks. We're uh, My guys get paid salary only, so they let you look at your own leisure on the lot. Uh, they let you, you know, they're not going to call you and bug you to death like other dealers do. And there's no commission salespeople here. Everybody works on salary, so that makes it easier for the customer because they're not getting bugged, and there's no there's no pressure. We want you to come to us when you're ready to buy. If we have to talk you into buying something, you're not ready to buy. So there's no sense in going any further. You know, we don't want you to buy until you're ready. No buyer's remorse here. That's just one thing, you know, we're big about. Anyway, folks, this unit's $99.95. That's haggle-free firm. But let me tell you again, you get the 90-day warranty. You get the inspection. And, of course, after it's been inspected, it gets cleaned up inside and out. Then gets the final walkthrough by Gordy, my service manager. Uh, once it's done, he'll call you, set up a time for you to pick it up. Shouldn't take us more than a few days to check this unit out. Maybe even less than that. Um, like I said, we know all the major stuff's good. We started doing that on all of our RVs, so we know uh, there's nothing that's going to delay us doing the final checkout. And, uh, of course, after this unit's been checked and Gordy approves of it, he'll call you, set up an appointment to get your new-to-you Jayco J-Flight. When you arrive here, uh, the tech that checked it out is going to give you a personal one-on-one -on -one RV orientation. Going to show you how to operate everything and show you everything works, answer any questions you have, show you any repairs you had to make, um, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, help you hook up to your vehicle, and much more. We also have nationwide delivery service available. Contact us for a quote if you want it delivered. Uh, like I said, we also um, have financing available with approved credit. Uh, this thing's quite a bit under NADA retail value, so this would be an easy one to get financed. Of course, with approved credit only. And keep in mind, folks, the banks, this is their rule, not mine. But it is mandatory 10% minimum down payment. Of course, like anything else, you know, if your credit's not exactly prime, um, got some credit issues, you may have to pay more than 10% down. Uh, you know, the banks... They look at campers like a like they would a boat or a motorcycle. A want, not a need. So they want you to have some kind of cash investment in it. Um, less likely you're going to let it go back for repossession that way. And I don't blame them. I mean that that you know that's that's a rule of thumb for pretty much any 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 purchase vehicles included. You always want to pay something down. But anyway, of course this thing's priced, folks. You got to realize that ten grand, you can go to your local credit union or bank and get a and get a short term loan and get a real low rate, and still have a very affordable payment. It, you know, ten grand a payment on that is nothing a month. I mean, it's literally heck. I had to figure it up, but it's under two hundred dollars a month. I'm sure uh, for a camper payment. That's pretty. That's pretty darn cheap. Of course, that's with approved credit, and. Uh, or you can contact your bank or lender, and we'll be happy to work with them, send them any paperwork they need uh, to get a loan in your name. If you got any questions about that, folks, best way to get told of us is to call us, 706-965-7929. Uh, go to my website again, parkwayrvcenter.com, uh, if you want to see a lot more information about this camper as well as other campers I have in stock. Keep in mind, folks... Um, uh, you know, we go through these things pretty quick.
uh, right now, springtime's coming up, so these things are already moving out fast. So keep in mind that. Please call before coming to look to make sure that the RV or camper you're looking at is still available. Just because it's posted online doesn't mean it's available. It may have a deposit on it. It may already be sold and somebody else enjoying it. I never delete my YouTube videos because people use them for reference purposes. And they help our Google search ranking, rankings since uh, Google owns YouTube. So the more videos I keep on there, the better our search rankings are. Anyway, folks, like I said, call ahead. Make sure it's here. Uh, you know, please wait and call right before you leave the house to come down here just to make sure. 706-965-7929. Um, you can email us as well, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Go to my website. I'll have a handy 24-7 uh, chat feature or text to chat feature, uh, which, again, that's a third-party service, folks. So they're just going to have basic information. If they can't help you, they will get your uh, contact info forwarded to my non-commissioned sales team members who will call you back either that day or the next business day. Thank you for watching. Like I said, nationwide delivery is available. This is a big camper for 23 foot. I'm telling you folks, I'm, I'm impressed with it. Um, I think you will too once you see. Great floor plan, different, but I like it. I mean, if I was going to buy a small camper to tow, this one would probably be in my, uh, would be in my sights. I like the layout, folks. Anyway, give us a call, 706-965-7929, uh, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com, and um, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Bringold, Georgia.